The Belikatan exercises began on April 1 and will run until April 12, the day the Russian detachment is due to leave Manila. Since it, Balikatan, doesn't prevent us from carrying out this visit, and it doesn't create any inconvenience, we decided to continue. Last year, the Philippine warship BRP Tarlac made a historic visit to the Russian port of Vladivostok on the country's Pacific coast. This is the second time the Russian Navy has visited the capital this year, and Alantiv noted that port calls by Russian and Philippine vessels to each other's waters had been taking place on a regular basis for some time. We strongly believe that the only way to cope with present-day threats and challenges is through partnership and by combining efforts and resources Alantiv added. For the Philippine government, hosting Russian Navy warships is an important component of continuing efforts to strengthen ties between the two countries. This will enhance and sustain peace, stability and maritime cooperation, said Captain Constancio Arturo Reyes Jr. We are looking forward to strengthening this bilateral relationship. When asked whether the visit could be counterproductive to fostering peace as a result of Russia's frosty relations with the U.S., Alantiv said, We have outstanding relations and a good rapport with the U.S. Navy, and all efforts aimed at peace and stability in the region, be they Russian or American, serve the same purpose. The Philippines is the oldest ally of the U.S. in the Asia-Pacific region, but since President Rodrigo Duterte's election, his administration has pursued an independent foreign policy, veering away from its long-standing U.S. military and economic alliance and shifting towards Russia and China. The Philippines' defense spokesman, Arsenio Andolong, admitted that the timing of the Russian fleet's arrival could be interpreted in a number of misleading ways. I really want to keep it clear that it's just a friendly visit. With all due respect to the Americans, Balikatan is being held in our house, and we can accept guests to come here. There's nothing wrong with that he told Arab News. Andalong also stressed that just because the Philippines was opening its doors to Russia and China did not mean that it was turning away from its big brother the US, nor that Russia and China were now priorities for Duterte. If they, the Russians, were here to attack the Americans, that's a different story, but they are here on a diplomatic port call. We are now more actively engaging Russia and China in accordance with the president's friend to all, enemy to no one policy. Our ties with the US are still there, and our two countries' alliance is still evident in how we deal with each other. The only change is that the communication has become more honest and straightforward, we say what we want to say, and they say what they want to say.